This movie is about how to figure the lengths of roof rafters concentrating on one of the triangles of a hip roof. To illustrate what we'll be figuring, let's take a look at a sketch of three similar buildings, one with a low pitch roof, one with a medium pitch roof, and one with a high pitch roof. We will be figuring the rafters for a low pitch roof, a 4 and 12 pitch roof. The roof will be very similar to the roof on the building at the left, the building with the low pitch roof. To make it simple, we will figure the rafters only from one triangular section. The section we will be figuring is shown here in red. First, let's name and point out the typical rafter terminology. There's rafters in general, which include the broad category of all of these types of rafters, including common, hip, jack rafter. Then we have the common rafter, which is the full length rafter it's not stepped down like the jacks are. The common rafter is a full length rafter going to the very highest point to the very lowest point of the roof. Then there's the hip rafters. They're the longest rafters that extend from the highest point of the roof to the corner of the roof. Then there's the jack rafters. They're shorter than the common rafters and they're stepped down in accordance with the slope of the roof. So on on this side we have a jack rafter here, we have a jack rafter here and a jack rafter here. On this other side we have a jack rafter here, 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 and a little one right there. In order to figure the common hip and jack rafters in this triangular section, we need to know three things. Either the rise or the run, the pitch, and the on-center spacing of the rafters. Typically either 16 inch or 24 inch on center. The rise is used if the set of plans only has elevations and no roof plan. The run is used if the set of plans has a roof plan. There are several types of construction calculators available. The one I'll use here is the Construction Master Pro by Calculated Industries. Although this one is a digital computer program, you can follow along with a regular hardware Construction Master Pro by calculated industries. The first thing to understand about the Construction Master Pro is that you can set the fractional accuracies. In other words, if you want it to go to 164th accuracy, then you can set it to that, or 1 8th, etc. If you have the hardware Construction Master Pro, then press the buttons Convert, CONV, Store, then Plus. With this PC program, all I have to do is to view preferences and I can set the accuracy right right here by just clicking on a button. In this case I have it set to 1 64th of an inch. On the PC version of Construction Master Pro you can set the accuracy of what you see on the screen by just clicking on Convert to will give you 
accuracy to the nearest half of an inch or convert 8 to the nearest eighth of an inch. To review, we need two of these items, including the rise, run, and pitch. Then we have to know whether the jack rafters are 16 or 24 inches apart. So we need three items. In this case, we know the run, the pitch, and the on-center spacing. The run is seven feet even. The pitch is four and twelve. And the jack rafters are 24 inch on center. So let's see how we would do this on the calculator. The first thing we do is press clear twice. If you press clear only once, then if you had stored something as the run of the rise, it wouldn't clear those out. But if you t press it twice, it clears everything except for constants that are set, like on center spacing. It won't clear your on center spacing. First of all, we'll enter the three items. We know that we're going to click seven foot run. That's going to tell us what the run is. We know we have a four inch pitch. And we know we have 24 inch and store 5. That's going to be the jack rafter spacing. In order to find the hip value, we'll just simply click hip. When you click diagonal, that's going to be your common rafter. So we know the hip, the con common rafter. Now we need to know the jacks. So we go to the jack and we click once. On your hardware version it won't show all the jacks at once. That's the advantage of the PC version. But you can see here the jack one is five foot three and a quarter. Three foot then jack two, three foot one and 61 64 jack 3 1 foot 0 inch plus 21 30 seconds of an inch and then jack 4 0 there's only three jack rafters in here if uh, if you look at the drawing you see there's a jack rafter here there's a jack rafter here and a jack rafter here so there's three and that agrees with the three that we came up with here to jack one that's what you're going to show on your hardware version you click jack again it's going to show the second jack you click jack again it's going to show the third jack fourth time it's going to show zero so zero and zero okay now we're going to figure the jack rafters at 16 inch on center using the rise. So our three inputs will be rise, pitch, and 16 inch on center for the jack rafters. Okay, and that should leave us with one, two, three, four, five jack rafters. Let's see how we'll do this. First we'll hit clear twice. We're going to put in the rise, two foot four inch rise and 4 inch pitch that's a 4 and 12 pit we're gonna put in 16 inch store 5 that'll store the 16 inch in the on center spacing then we're gonna click run just to make sure we agree with what we had the other way we figured it and that was a seven foot run so that agrees we click uh, recall diagonal the, the the common rafter is seven foot four and thirty five sixty fourths that should agree with what we had before 
our hip value is 10 foot 2 and 364 so that should agree with what we had before and now we're going to click jack okay now this will actually show us that we have five jacks that were figured which agrees with the number we had on our drawing if you have the PC version like here well it's going to show you all all the jacks at once but if you have the hardware version you're going to click on jack and it's going to start at jack one which is five foot eleven and forty three sixty four you hit jack again it's going to be four foot six and thirteen sixteenths you hit jack again it's going to be three foot one and sixty one sixty fourths you hit jack again it's one foot nine and five sixty fourths hit jack again it's four inches and seven thirty seconds of an inch and then you hit jack finally the sixth time and it'll show zero indicating that you only have five jack rafters this concludes our takeoff using the three input values the first one where we used the run the pitch and the 24 inch on spacing and the second method where we used the rise two foot four inches the pitch which was four inch pitch and the 16 inch on center spacing